Tom joins us with hypnotist Richard Barker, the author of Selling Hypnotically. They're both with us, and I want to ask you, Tom, after all that, have things changed? Absolutely. Uh, when we showed up at the, the vivarium where the butterflies were, uh, it was just a completely different experience. There was no stress, no anxiety. I just I wanted to get my camera out. So it was almost the opposite. Yeah. You saw them as beautiful creatures yeah. rather than fearsome ones. Right. So Richard, tell us about this session. I know you mentioned it was a little bit challenging. Tell us why. Yeah, you know, information gets revealed as you're actually in the session. So I didn't know the root cause of the issue that was creating the abnormal reaction to the butterflies. So um, the, the bee sting on the finger came out not any issues surrounding butterflies during the session. So it was an association issue. The anxiety of the butterflies and the bees were sort of combined. So during a hypnotic session, I'm regressing them back to the point of the first memory of the issue and then addressing that particular scene. So how long can he expect these results to last? So the sort of methodology behind it is once you've gone into the subconscious mind, we have a phrase, you know, the, the subconscious mind accepts the truth and the truth only. It cannot lie to itself whereas the critical mind can. So once I make that significant change in the, the programming of that mind to react a certain way, it's permanent. And who's a candidate for this type of therapy? Somebody that really has that burning issue that wants to resolve something about their life, then they would make a good candidate. I have a saying that, you know, if you have something controlling your life instead of your life being controlled by yourself, you should seek out a hypnotist. And so you've had the treatment, Tom. I'm curious if you're up for one more test backstage. Abs absolutely. Well, Tom and Richard, we're going to do a little field trip, OK? okay. It's not going to be very far. So gentlemen, <laughs> if you will, uh, this way. All right. We're going to go find some butterflies. All right, Tom, so what we have here is sort of a final test. <laughs> this is your final exam. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Let's I do it. I will lead the way. Well, oh, wow. as you can see, <laughs> we've incredible. created a little, as you said, vivarium. That's Tom, <laughs> you have the honors. <laughs> Just watch that step. Yeah. Richard? Oh, God. Oh, these are great. Congratulations. Well, this one's staying with me. Okay. And, you know, we've done this all under controlled conditions. We have a butterfly wrangler standing by to collect the, the uh, butterflies, and we're going to make sure that they're released naturally. Into well, thank you. Richard, I'm curious if you could share some tips for our viewers at home about hypnosis techniques and maybe how they could apply these for their own concerns. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the techniques that we use is visualization. So focusing on a fixed point. And then when you focus on that fixed point, regulate, concentrate on your breathing, take deep breaths in, close your eyes, relax. And then any anxieties, worries, or troubles you have, you know, and you're feeling any anxiety, you just breathe them out. So as you breathe in, you breathe in the anxiety, and as you breathe out, push the aches, the pains, the worries and troubles away and then just give yourself positive reinforcement and positive affirmations which is nothing more than self-hypnosis well richard you've taken tom to wall <laughs> he's now the butterfly whisperer oh, uh, yes <laughs> they come to him and they love him and he loves them this is seems very animated very very uh, <laughs> excited and liberated which i love congrats to you tom richard thanks so much Thank and you. as dr orton alluded to those butterflies will now be released back into their natural habitat